Hello everyone, it's Artem here. In this video, I want to talk about how to build highly convertible landing pages with Next.js. Why it's important? Because I have found myself always struggling and spending too much time on the landing page. It's kind of for the developer side, it's, it's the least important thing because you want to focus on the product, build new features, solve more problems for the customers. On the other hand, the landing page is the first thing the customers see as they found your product. So it's always nice to have the nicely looking landing page. And I found this kind of component based approach where I have like a predefined components for my landing page and I just use them, change the colors, fonts, copy, and from product to product, I keep it the same clean styling, but um, this let me move fast, explain what my product is all about. And I found this way of working, uh, give me more customers and less um, problems for me as a developer. So first of all, you can find this code that we're discussing here in the description. You can find the link and get this code yourself, ch copy it, change the, all, what you want to change and use it to, for your own projects. So yeah, check the, the description for the link. So let's discuss what we see on the page and why like, I chose this. So I always start with the header section, just a simple simple features, pricing, FAQs, and the call to action. And I always try to, for the, all the components, I try to make it mobile friendly from the beginning, just to not spend time later for this. Below we have the hero section where I just explain what this product is all about. Simple, straightforward, just one single line where you like, or two lines, what is this? So in, in our case, it's just an AI teacher app for the teacher to help for the lesson planning and, and other. And here we, we are telling the focus on teaching, not endless preparation. And below we see like a short description. What is this? What is the product is about? I I find myself like I always try different things. You can like for, for the week, try this um, um, hitting what for the next week, change it, see how the how, how it will affect conversion. Always add a button here with like call to action and below we have some uh, customer feedback, like a like a badges or something. Here it's, um, you will see this um, uh, in, on the landing page a lot of, a lot of times, this kind of proof of value, some testimonials, some customer feedback. This helps because pe people like to buy from people and it's always good to show the actual feedback, the uh, who found your product valuable and interesting and show it if, if it's possible. Again, if it's like the first day of launch, it's not needed because the, the fake things not not really like this valuable to show the fake reviews or other. I will leave two variants of this badge here, like below on the hero section. It will call it be called like a hero footer and while one will be called it called testimonials avatars. Let me show it how it looks. So second one will look like uh, avatars of people with the, with the rating. And um, here it's good if you have like the avatars of the real people to show it here. Then below I tend to add like a, like a brand, like a line of, of brand logos. If you can have some, again, some mentioning on the press or something, maybe some magazine, publish the article about your app or something, it's nice to add it here. If no, you can always hide it. Then we move to kind of to the meat of the landing page and it's two sections actually. It's problem before and after and features. Let me explain, like we're keeping this again, as, as I told you, like as simple as possible. Here is just a section where you show what is the life of the product of the person before using the product and after. Here we're explaining that Okay, this is the traditional way of teaching. We have like why one size fits all, limi limited resources, difficulty, maybe like it's the teachers without the AI help less creative, but with AI help, you can personalize your education. You can get more creative, spend less time, save more energy, like some value that you can give using this product. And I guess from the beginning, if person is see themselves like using this and f find it valuable, they will scroll below and learn more about this. So you can kind of without 
any a lot of words you're just talking like straight away what is this this is nice way of dealing with your customers because like if you talk telling what is this from the beginning it's always nice that you save them time and you save your time as well and then again a straightforward way to showcase the features what is this project actually doing here we explaining with the gifs you can use videos short like screen recordings images like i do on this uh, some like um, some image or something some, some screenshots of the on the screen or other explain what is doing so in our case we let the user select some tools the teacher might might be interested in like um, lesson plans quizzes flashcards question banks and then they are able to generate the thing with the ai help and then edit it via rich text editor and other and then export it as a pdf if they want to share it or send it to someone so this is like this you edit this based on your own feature set of the, of the of the project that you're working on next i move to them like a testimony like a testimonial uh, component that um, i mentioned that like proof of user experience that someone actually found this valuable this is the most valuable thing like adding this proof of the actual the, the people using this it's super super important but only if you have the the real testimonials um this is works nicely and uh, it's always good to show that 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 is used by, by other people so yeah you can always keep it like this or hide it if you want then the, the pricing section where we show some if we want to like okay we launch the project we can add some discount for the first like uh, 10 customers or something or first week or so, or so, something like this then again explaining the value with the with the this sm small description once again and the plans the plans is based on you you can keep the free plan you can add like different tires of of paid plan i tend to add the plan that i want to sell sell i tend to add like a outline some border with the badge also to show and maybe change the colors of them so so the the people more focused on the plan that i i want to sell more of so yeah once again the testimonials here uh on the pricing what's what is important is um, like we have also the name of the plan the description and the main features that we offer so it might be like a, for the pre-plan like level support but for the paid we add some pre-priority support and other just explain the main feature that you have FAQ section, um, this is kind of overlooked component, but it's really important. It will save a lot of your time because you will have less customer support requests, less customer questions. You will explain what is like the main question that your husband might have. You can explain it here. You can use ChatGPT, just ask what may, might be important to answer for this type of project and generate the question answers for your FAQ or write it yourself if you know exactly what they might be interested in. One more thing to try, you can like ask a person who are not really familiar with your product to I know, ask, ask some questions that they might have, like how much it costs, how I pay, or can I make a refund, can I cancel my subscription and other, and add it to your section here. Again, some feedback, the more the better, but if you do not have this, just hide it. Then CTA section, where we, once again, we mentioned the value, and add in description with the button to go to the sign up page or pay for the plan or something. Why it's important? Because instead of scrolling to the top from here, like manually doing this, you can, you are like a kind of caring about your customers and letting them do this without scrolling. Yeah, just click here and go do the same action from the bottom of the page. And uh, the footer section where we explaining, like adding the logo of the, of the company some links some uh, legal pages like uh, privacy and terms of service this is needed for the stripe if you want to add a payment because they will ask you to have these pages on your side to to like to um, to make them um, the stripe account available for the payments and uh, yeah you can add some support some pricing maybe some links for your other projects if you have just something about about what what it's all about Mm, so yeah it's basically this just to summarize keep it simple keep it straightforward a lot of proof of concept from the real users if you have this if you're not just do not use it for now then the main points here is just a showcase before after give explain the value explain the features 
make it simple, engaging, keep your colors and fonts based on your based on your taste, and uh, yeah, and show how much this costs. Let them pay if they want. Call to action at the bottom. You will find the link to the GitHub repo in the description, as I, as I, as I, as I said. You can change all the colors via like Tailwind styles. It's all the used, using Tailwind based color palettes. So you just can find Control F con and replace the, the colors and fonts. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more of Next.js tips, tricks, tutorials, launching your projects, uh, indie hacking, and other. Also, join the Discord community if you're interested to find like to talk more about with like-minded individuals and uh, see you next time guys thank you bye bye